First off, we're going to make the mix. What do you think of growing up? The smell and the taste of amazing crumpet. It never leaves you. To make the mix, the secret is to bring the milk up to the ball, but do not boil it. The minute it boils, turn it off and let it sit there. Now, flour in. A nice pinch of salt in. Now, add half a teaspoon of bicarb. That gives it aeration and really lifts the mixture up. All those lovely little holes. A nice pinch of sugar. And then a teaspoon of yeast, dry yeast. Now, once the milk's boiled, turn it off and add some warm water. About 10 tablespoons, 150 ml. That cools down the milk, but more importantly, it doesn't destroy the yeast. Half of the milk in first, stop, and give that a really good mix. Now, the rest of it. You can just see that there's no lumps through there as it drips through the whisk. Now, we're looking for it to double in size and get nice and light. So, pop in a warm place whilst you get on with the delicious topping. Beautiful strawberries, but caramelised, almost like a very quick strawberry jam. Pan on. Just slice these in half. Some sugar, a couple of tablespoons. We're going to take the sugar to a nice light caramel. It's just starting to change colour now. Turn the gas down and we're going to add the strawberries. Beautiful. Just sweating the strawberries down quickly and the caramel's breaking down. And a wonderful glaze on the strawberries. Some lemon grated into the strawberries. Gives it that kind of freshness that really starts to break down the strawberries. Nice. Gas up. <laughs> smells incredible. Some lemon juice. Touch of balsamic vinegar in. That gives it that really nice, delicious tartness. Now, off it goes. As the strawberries start to cool down, it will naturally thicken and set beautifully. Nice. Now, for the crumpet. It's almost doubled in size, but be very careful you don't knock the bowl because it can sort of push out all that air. It's aerated, it's nice, it's light. Just see the texture. She's ready to go. Touch of oil in. In we go. Instead of making normal small crumpets, I'm making a giant one, ideal for sharing. Now, turn the gas down. You can just start to see a traditional crumpet style cooking process. We want those nice, tiny little holes on top and that crispy, crunchy base. Right now, it's time to add the butter. Just slide the butter down the back. That gives it a really nice nutty flavour at the end. Fish nice. And flip. Beautiful. Take that out. Take the jam. Spoon it over. The secret is for the juice to sort of run inside all those little holes. Think of that tartness of the balsamic vinegar. The strawberries, beautifully soft and almost pureed, wrapped in that delicious caramel. Now, finish that with a nice ball of creme fraiche. Let that sit there and that is an amazing way of finishing off a traditional brunch with something sweet, something delicious, and something you're dying to tuck into. It's almost like slicing through butter. Let the knife do the work. This is eggs to the nth degree, packed with different tastes, textures, and flavors, all working wonderfully together, perfect.